wanted to show you my new snow camel from Russia. It's the Russian Anorak. You've probably seen it in uh, movies like Red Dawn. You know, it's all cotton. 100%. So when I'm done making this video, I'm probably going to die. I'll tell you what, it would be excellent for snowboarding. You know, except, like I said, you will die because it's camouflage. Look. See, you're looking good in this. And you know what? You don't have to kill a lot of people to get these glasses. Snow day. It's all cotton. It's extra large. You can see the gloves are uh, built right into the, the uniform. And uh, we have straps around them there. Showing you it's good camouflage too when it dropped the camera. And I'm going to see if we can show you the difference between 100% cotton. Now, watch it, I'm going to die. That's like if I fell like on my snowboard, you know. Actually, the camera's going to have more trouble than me. You look, it just brushes right off. I just wanted to show you the labels here on the pants on the inside. Must be the shift. Um, there's the company that made them in the year. I just wanted to show you the labels here on the pants on the inside. Must be the shift. Um, there's the company that made them in the year. And then they have these pockets on the side, two pockets. See, and I wanted to show you that my, uh, I also got this Russian backpack. Yep. And it's pretty unique because, uh, see the top there? I'm going to untangle the top and show you. There's no, uh, straps here on the side you know it's tied in a knot around the top you know just to stop all that nonsense like on the new backpacks and then it comes together 
So I know you probably wondered if I was going to do any more camping reviews. Kinda, you know. You can see there's the waist strap. And it's all like a canvas. These are pretty comfortable because there isn't a lot of padding, you know. And yeah, it's pretty, it holds pretty much. My hands are extra large. So, you know, you can see it's... I'd say bigger than any of those ultralight backpacks of today. What you do here, I have to do it one-handed. See, it, it's got real hemp rope even. I don't know how they did that. This is from World War II, I'm not kidding you. Everything on it's like brand new. See, what you do is you just don't tie this knot at the top. And yeah, it's this special knot, so it doesn't pull off the knot. See, that's the type of knot it is. I'm not going to take it off because it's hard to do one-handed. But you know what I mean. You just crop it together like that. You tie your straps to it like this. Now, how's that for ultralight? You know, now we're cooking with gas, and this is World War II now. Oh, yeah, now look at this. These are the straps on the side, then, to carry your padding Actually, like I said, they didn't sleep out every night, so they just carried, like, believe it or not, bread or something. Maybe their skis, even. Snowshoes on this side. See, they're on both sides. And on the back, there's this nameplate, see? <laughs> this freaking leather's like brand new still. World War II. <laughs> I'm wrecking it here, you know? But that's the thing, too. If you saw me do that video with the snow, with the cotton, yeah, cotton, it doesn't really get wet if you live in Alaska, <laughs> you know? It's down here where I live, where it melts all the time and gets wet. Yeah, but see, it just brushes right off. 100% cotton, you know? Because it's so cold out, it's like <clears throat> 10 below zero out here or something right now. Yeah, and then on top of that, look at this.